Romantic Bedtime Stories Chapter 1 It had been a long hard day made even longer and harder when my mower ran out of gas. Now I'd be late to the dance. There weren't many at the nearby church, so they were pretty special. I had rushed through my dinner, much to the annoyance of my mother, and ran upstairs into the shower. Five minutes later I was dressing in my navy blazer, a white button, striped tie, and gray flannel slacks, a quick combing and my hair was as ready as it was going to be. I kissed mom, waved to dad, and was out the door to my truck. Twenty minutes later I was searching in vain for a parking spot. Finally, after another ten minutes I found one, across the street and a block away. I walked hurriedly back to the large brick building. It appeared that I had arrived just in time. Rose was backed up against a wall as some bruiser who looked to be about ten years older was peering down her dress. I could see the terror in her eyes. Rose and I are the same age 18, but she's really naive. She should be a junior like me, but she's only a freshman. She's not stupid, on the contrary. She was terribly sick for more than a year and a half when she was eight and nine, so she missed two whole years of school. She's better now, thank God. Now, all I have to do is rescue her. I walked up with a huge smile on my face, stepping right between the gorilla and Rose. Hi, hun, sorry I'm late. I kissed her cheek as I took her hand. Come on, let's dance. I pulled her away before her erstwhile suitor could react. He may have been twice my size, but I'd bet I had twice the IQ. I wrapped my arms around Rose and pulled her close, wondering if she'd say anything about the proximity of our bodies she did. Kind of close for cousins, Paul wouldn't you say? Yeah, but we're actually not quite cousins. What does that mean not quite cousins? Essentially, we're not cousins, we're not related. Care to have me explain? Yes, I'm confused. Confused was good. She hadn't moved that luscious body with its big round breasts and that sweet firm ass away from the straining erection that was pointing down my left leg. Okay, let's go back a few years. I've always called your mom Aunt Celia and you've always called mine Aunt Martha. Okay, so far, she nodded. I call your dad Uncle Carl and you call mine Uncle Stan. If we're related how come we've never seen each other at family gatherings? To be real cousins one of your parents and one of my parents would have to be siblings you know, like brothers or sisters but you're never at any of our family functions and I've never been to any of yours. I asked my mom about it last year. Okay, so what did she say? She said that she and your mom grew up next door to each other in Queens and were best friends all through school. They were so close that when they married and had kids it was natural to have them call each other aunt and uncle, especially when our dads got jobs at the lab. I don't believe it. Okay, how about a bet? The music had stopped, but we were still dancing. I loved it. If I'm right, I'll pick you up next Friday night at 7 for a date a movie and ice cream after. And if I'm right, I'll pick you up at 7 next Friday night, but not for a date. We'll do whatever you want instead. She leaned back a bit and held her hand out to shake. I kissed her cheek instead. Oh, thanks for the rescue. He was getting pretty obnoxious. I noticed. It was the least I could do for my girlfriend. She laughed then realized we were the only ones dancing and walked off the floor with me following closely behind. I had always loved Rose, even back to when we were both six. That was when we moved into the same neighborhood. My family from Oak Ridge, Tennessee and theirs from Alamogordo, New Mexico. My dad and hers had taken jobs at the Brookhaven National Lab in nearby Upton out in rural Suffolk County, Long Island. It was a real reunion for our moms and the first time our families had met. Rose and I hit it off right away, especially because she was a real tomboy. She could actually pass, catch, and kick a football better than I could until I made it to junior high and was almost as good at baseball and basketball, too. By then, she'd been sick and held back. I still saw her every day. In school, our small community had a K-8 school. In ninth grade, we all went to Port Jefferson High about 20 miles away. To be continued. This just the beginning. Please turn on the notification to receive alert of the continuation. Thank you.
Rose and I hit it off right away, especially because she was a real tomboy. She could actually pass, catch, and kick a football better than I could until I made it to junior high and was almost as good at baseball and basketball, too. By then, she'd been sick and held back. I still saw her every day.